Every home has some household appliances that are essential for living. Household devices and appliances are electrical or mechanical machines which accomplish some household functions such as cleaning, cooking, heating or cooling. Ceiling fan is one of the electrical appliances commonly used in our daily life. It is a convenient and cost-effective way of keeping your surroundings cool. For the Electrical Maintenance Repair DET 50093 course offered at Polytechnic Kuala Terengganu, we will learn how to find faults and repair ceiling fans through this video. If you suffer from ceiling fan speed problems, it more often than not means that your fan works on only one speed when turned on. One reason for this is if your ball bearing have not been cleaned. Another reason could be that your fan is defective. Other reasons could also include your motor overheating or a failing capacitor, both of which can cause your fan to operate on one speed only. Most ceiling fan have adjustable speeds. If your fan isn't turning properly or one or more or your speed control setting isn't working, why does this happen and will it be repaired? You are advised to replace the capacitor. Replacing a ceiling fan capacitor is relatively simple. You need to dismantling and reassemble the equipment. For this mantling process, you need to remove screw on the downward using pliers. Remove the canopy and then unplug the capacitor connection. Now, a damaged capacitor can be replaced. A ceiling fan capacitor can be partially damaged or completely blown. In many cases, you will notice that a damaged capacitor is obvious to the naked eye due to the swelling plastic or discoloration. For reassemble process, Replace the capacitor with a value equal to the value farad capacitor origin. If you use a higher value, it will cause a more rapid spinning fan. Then the motor will get in warmer and this may harm the coil inside motor fan. Mesh up the correct wires from the fan to the capacitor and take note of how your existing capacitor is wired. When working with capacitors and internal components, make sure the power to your fan is turned off. This is for your safety. Now, you may assemble the down root and canopy. Tightly screw on the down root and remember to tighten the screw sets. Slip on the canopy. Be careful not to mangle the wire. Clip the canopy onto the mounting plate and tighten the screws. Now your fan is ready to work as usual. Instead of replacing a new ceiling fan, you are only need to replace a new capacitor, which is more cheaper. So why pay more?